what a roller coaster of a year 2022 has been in the real estate market. I mean, we started the year with still prices going up like crazy, bidding wars taking place, multiple offers, everything like that still going on. And then wham, mortgage rates, mortgage rates, mortgage rates, the highest or highest jump in the shortest period of time we had ever seen as rates more than doubled, which caused home buyers to just stop, put on the brakes and stop. And that caused prices to start to come down. So it led to so much speculation. Is the market going to crash? What's going to happen? Is this going to happen? That here in North Texas, we've started to see some stabilization. But what to expect in 2023 is something that even the experts can't agree on. So in today's video, I wanted to dive into an article with you that I found recently in Fortune Magazine, where it compiles the 20 leading predictions for 2023 housing market. And I'm gonna show you that even the experts aren't sure where this one is going. So stay tuned as we jump in right now. Hi, this is Andrew with the Andrew Smith team here in Frisco, Texas. And as I mentioned, you know, there's so much confusion about the housing market in 2023 right now. You know, this time of year, I've been to a couple of holiday events with friends and a lot of people asking, what do you think is going to happen? Where is it going to go? Are we going to crash? Are we not going to crash? Where do you think mortgage rates are going to be? And it's something that's on a lot of people's minds. I mean, the market went crazy last year with regards to the change that we saw. We saw mortgage rates go up faster than they ever have before. In fact, they more than doubled. Then over the past four weeks, we've actually seen mortgage rates come down at the fastest pace since 2008. So where does that leave us going forward? Well, as mentioned, even the experts aren't quite 100% sure. And I honestly believe a lot is going to depend on exactly where in the country you live. Now, I'm going to share my screen in just a second here. And please remember that the numbers I'm going to share in the forecast are national. They're what they believe is going to happen across the entire company or across the entire country. But real estate is very local. So different markets are going to play out differently. So let's take a look at this. All right, so here we go. So this is from Fortune Magazine. It actually came out on December 7th. Um, but I just read it again this morning and I thought it was worth going over with you. And they're saying, you know, our home price is going to decline 20%. You know, seven of the forecast models are leaning towards rapid declines. Whereas 13 other market or 13 other models are saying, well, wait a minute, not so fast. So where does that leave you? I mean, if the experts and the models can't agree, how are we supposed to know exactly what is going to happen? So let's run through this just quickly, right? So again, back in the early 2000s, you had lenders that made a lot of loans to people that shouldn't have had loans. The whole subprime mortgage debacle came about and caused a complete crash. And, you know, for this, let's look at it. What's the difference between a crash and a correction? And one of the things the article says is that a crash is when there's forced selling, usually due to financial concerns, such as the foreclosure crisis that happened back then. Whereas a correction is when home prices can have a sharp decrease and they can correct but it's not necessarily a crash due to the fact that they don't anticipate as much forced selling, such as through a foreclosure crisis. And again, right now, foreclosures are still running way below what they are normally. And most of the experts that have been, or most of the idea that we're going to run into a big foreclosure crisis has pretty much abated. There's not many people talking about it. And the latest numbers on the number of mortgage delinquencies are still incredibly low. Now, granted, if we go into a recession, if there's a lot of job losses, that could change. But if, 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 if this, then that, nobody knows what those ifs are. We're all just kind of letting this play out as we go right now. Now, with that in mind, though, 
It is important to note that U.S. home prices fell about 26% on average between 2007 and 2012. I was in Southern California during that time. I can tell you many of the areas around me, 26% would have been fantastic. There's communities that were falling 40, 45, 50%. So, but 26% was the national average, just as kind of a benchmark there. So with that in mind, if we fast forward to now, the Dodd-Frank law was passed. Mortgage lending got very restrictive. And as a result of that, lending standards were tightened. And the loans made today or since then are not subprime. So home prices should be relatively safe, right? And, and, and as they say, not necessarily so fast. Because when mortgage rates spiked, demand pulled back rapidly and that caused home prices to come back. All of a sudden you had these homes out there for sale and they wouldn't sell because the buyer demand just wasn't there. And it did force some price corrections on how much of a price correction depends on what market you actually live in. But one of the big differences between 2008 and now is back in 2008, we had a lot of inventory. There was plenty of supply in the market. So the, the problems that were exacerbated by the fact that there was so much of the product available, that's not the case now. We're running very, very tight on inventory. But I'm not saying that to say we aren't going to see price declines because we are, and in many cases, we already have. So as you go down here, you've got large firms such as Morgan Stanley, KPMG, John Burns, Moody's Analytics, Goldman Sachs, all predicting home prices are going to fall in 2023. Then you've got Case Shiller, you've got Realtor.com, and you've got a couple others like that that are saying, well, not so fast. We actually think prices may, in fact, go up in 2023. So what's one to think? Where exactly are they going to go? So I'm going to jump through this quickly here and show you. This is the three-month change in U.S. home prices going all the way back to 1987. This is where we went from peak all the way down to crash when the housing market took a dump back in the mid to early to mid 2000s. You can see how that came down. Well, here's what happened in mid-2022. We went from here and we did a 2.2% drop, as you can see, extremely fast. That's as the mortgage rates were going up so fast. And as I mentioned, buyer demand just dried up. As a result, prices went flying down. So as you try and figure out where this is going in 2023, let's look at this. Among the most bearish forecasters, they're saying home prices could fall as much as 20% if mortgage rates remain elevated. And that's an if, because as I just mentioned at the beginning of this, mortgage rates have fallen for now five weeks in a row, and mortgage applications in the last week are actually up again. So again, we're going to have to see how that plays out. But they're saying even if the worst case scenario came about here and home prices did fall 20%, you shouldn't expect there to be a housing crash like there was in 2008. And that's because what they're talking about is peak to trough in prices. And even if the prices did fall 20%, when you consider how much home prices have run up over the last few years, especially the last couple, a 20% decline would only roll us back to where prices were in February of 2021. All right, so with that in mind, let's take a look at this. Let's scroll through here. So here's where we're at as we look for 2023. So Realtor.com is forecasting the median price is actually going to rise 5.4%. CoreLogic, which supplies a lot of the data to a lot of the media outlets and a lot of the forecasting companies, they're predicting prices are going to rise 4.1%. Home LLC, 4%. The Mortgage Bankers Association, less than 1%. Zillow, well, again, less than 1%, 0.8%. Freddie Mac, relatively flat, right? 0.2%. Fannie Mae, they're thinking prices are going to come down 1.5%. Redfin, their baseline forecast is projecting that prices will fall 4%. Then you've got Wells Fargo here, prices falling 5.5%. Capital Economics down 8%. Goldman Sachs, 5 to 10%. Okay, Moody's, 5 to 10%, 10% more likely. 
Morgan Stanley, around 10%. Zonda, they're saying that peak to trough prices could fall 15%. KPMG, they're looking at prices coming down about 15%. Zellman and Associates, they're forecasting prices to fall 4% next year and another 5% in 2024. Now, there's not many companies out there that are forecast price declines going out into 2024 as well. John Burns Real Estate Consulting, peak to trough, they could fall 20 to 22%. So as you can see, there is a wide range of predictions and forecasts out there on what prices are likely to do in 2023. Now, all that being said, if you're confused, that's completely normal because the models are confused as well. And these are people that research this and do this every single day. But to provide a little bit of perspective, again, I did mention that these were forecasts peak to trough as far as the drops. Here in Frisco, we've already fallen 17%. In Prosper, we've fallen 13%. And in Frisco, we did that from April through August. In Prosper, we did that May through August. And since then, Prices have actually been holding steady. They've been treading water, indicating that we have some balance appearing in the marketplace. Now, as I've mentioned in the videos lately, does that mean we couldn't see further softening in prices here in North Texas going forward? No, it doesn't mean that. We could, but right now, if you're out there and you're thinking that prices locally here are going to fall another 10, 15, or 20%, it's... it. I. I don't have anything to back that up. I don't have any data anywhere from anything that says that's going to happen. As a matter of fact, I just read a report that said the DFW market is going to be in the top three with regards to markets to survive well or perform well, I should say, should there be a recession going forward. So again, what's the right thing for you to do? It's the right thing for you to do. I mean, everyone's going to have to make their own decision on that. One thing I can say is if you want to keep track of what's going on in your own local market, the best way to do that is through my weekly market reports. They track the trends, the pricing trends, what's going on in price reductions inventory each and every week. It keeps updated on every single home for sale. There's a link to the Frisco market report directly below in the description. And from that report, you can search any city or zip code of your choosing. As I said, this is going to play out differently depending on where you are in the country. Some agents I work with up in Minnesota, they just saw their prices peak in October. So they're running about six months behind where we are here. And that's fairly typical of the upper Midwest and the Northeast. They're not feeling the effects the same way as the southern states are and the southwest. So again, hopefully this information helps. Um, my goal each and every week is to provide you with the information and the data that you need in order to make the best decision for you and your family. If you have any additional questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can always send me an email at andrew at the andrew smith team.com or give me a call at 496, I'm sorry, 469 296 5230.